Dave Chappelle. Yes. Uh, how did the two of you first connect? Dave is someone I've always admired and looked up to. Dave gave me a chance doing my first album, you know, um, Monster, to be on his show. So I was on the Chappelle show. And we've just grown a friendship over the years. Um, I think Dave is one of the most intelligent, proudly, um, unapologetically black men. He forces me to think, you know, and it's not always comfortable. And I, and I love that. We went to one of his shows and he gave me a speech about running for governor of the state. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't run for governor. What, what, what did he say? He was like, you need to run for governor. And I'm like, no, I do not. You know what, I mean? what was his reasoning? His reasoning was because, for what, 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 uh, I'm honest. You know, I said, Dave, I still like smoking weed. I go to the floor. He said, we don't give a Nobody cares. We care that you're honest and you have integrity. We don't have to wonder who you are. We already know who you are and we can accept that. <laughs> and the funny thing is, not only Dave has said that, there are much more famous rappers in this state. Many more rappers who've had some type of social influence and yet when it's time to call a rapper for, not even a rapper, when it's trying to call a person who's entertaining and, 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 and in entertainment and in business, Governor Brian Kemp calls me. And I end up being the closer to that meeting to say to people, this is wrong, this is right, this is what we need, this is what this one can do. That means that my wisdom and intelligence is respected beyond my ability to sing and dance. And that's what Dave is really saying to me. So why did you tell him you didn't want to do it? Because I, I like smoking marijuana, going to the Blue Flame. You can't do that when you're the governor. What, why not? <laughs> you can't. You, you sure? I, just, I, would, I, would, I would suspend that for four years. For four years, I probably wouldn't. You know, for four years, because I, I take the job seriously. You got people, you know, maybe on 420. But I, I think that I think that when it's time for me to go in politics will be no sooner than 10 years. I've tried to run from it for years, but my wife says, yeah, you're going to. Because you get aggravated. You start yelling at TV. Your sister says she wants you to go into politics, but she doesn't think you ever will. Yeah, I, but, yeah because she knows I detest what politicians have done in selling us out. But... If you run for a small enough seat, you can make a bigger impact. Chief Judge Asha Jackson has been my friend since we were 11 years old. Chief Judge Asha Jackson, while on the brink of homelessness when we were seniors, encouraged all the boys that she knew were capable to go to college, to go to trade school. Chief Judge Asha Jackson started the Pinnacle Program that allows people, instead of going to jail for one or two years, to have a year to redeem themselves through trades, jobs, skills, education, and to come out on the other side of that better. If Chief Judge Asha Jackson can do that, I'm going to always advocate for her to hold that seat. I understand how big a little office can be. So at some point, I know I'm going to be compelled to because after I do this 10 more years, after I've achieved the things in music and business I want to achieve, and I'm just worried about do I get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and are we going to tour for a month or two this year, I'm not going to be able to sit still. I think if I run, I'm probably going to be compelled on a local level to run for city council of some sort or school board. When I tell people that, they're like, nah, you're going to run for state rep, mayor, or governor. And I'm just like, governor? They was like, what are you waiting on? Well, what are you waiting on? I, well, right now, I got to get rich. <laughs> I want to be, un, I, I, I don't want to be bribable. I don't want to be a, a I, I mean, rich is relative. You're yeah. rich compared to 99.9% <laughs> of the world. Yeah, but I still got to pay some bills. I, I like to be not worried about the bills, Rich. How would you best explain the Brian Kemp criticism? that you received? How do I best explain it? Well, I can't explain why people are critiquing me because I don't understand it. I understand that people feel as though politics is the Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington, you know, now commanders or former Redskins, but that's not what politics is. I grew up in an all-black neighborhood in an all-black enclave with different black people of different economic class. I grew up with black Republicans around me and black Democrats. I grew up with black conservatives and black liberals. Hell, my grandmother and mother were radically different in terms of the political spectrum. My grandfather was probably more of a libertarian. What I understand is that politics is pragmatism. I want to know what you can do for me on a very local level in this community. I care about the 10 people to my left and my right in terms of their first and foremost. I got to make sure I street right. And then how does it affect the bigger neighborhood and the bigger community? My relationship with Kemp is no matter how you want to feel about him personally as a black person, the fact of the matter is nine new corporations have come to Georgia, 9,000 new jobs. There are 16,000 currently jobs now at the leader of Piedmont Hospital. If we can invest in high schools right now and raise you know, the next five classes of high school graduates directly into nursing centers, have them get their associates when they come out of high school, go into a four-year degree and, and, and get bumped up, we would love to be a part of doing that. 
When you hear Home Depot say, we don't have enough contractors, we are now starting a program in which we want to train middle schoolers to high schoolers up to be to great paying jobs, whether it's laying floors or building or electrician. These jobs are started at 70, 80, 90 grand a year and better. When you look at Georgia Youth Bill, teaching kids not only to get their GEDs, but teach kids trades they're gonna be paying $70,000 coming out the gate. That's what our governor supports. Why wouldn't I support that? I don't care ideologically what, you know, what, what differences I have with anyone. If I can sit across and we can make Georgia a better, more effective state for the worker class, the worker class is the reason I'm here. Why wouldn't I want to continue that? So for me, if Brian Kemp is the person to continue that, then that's, I have to support that because I'm not supporting Brian Kemp, the personal personality. I'm supporting Brian Kemp, the policymaker.